but it's called Mermaids of Atlantis. It's this, like jungle civilization. It's like a mystic theme. For us, it's all about the Aloha spirit and the vibes of Hawaii. I was really inspired just by the desert and cactus, succulents. It is my first collection ever, so I'm so excited. Our inspiration is in all the artesanies and everything we have in Colombia. We're backstage at Liliana Montoya and we're creating a gorgeous look today with a golden bronzy mermaid. It's really ethereal, it's very dreamy, there's a lot of gold, a lot of bronzes and a really icy almost silver kind of highlight to the skin. The brows I really wanted to do something that was sort of unruly and unkempt and I wanted to be a little bit reminiscent of a mermaid so we did something brushed up and got those like little sprigs of your brows to stand right up almost like the, the gills of a fish. We went with a really nude lip as well because we wanted to keep it really monochromatic and be respectful of Liliana's designs. So they're really going to be the stars of the show. What we love about this look is that it's very whimsical. It's very sexy, very soft. There's braids intertwining with other braids. There's pieces left out on the sides. Everything is really just waved and curled and textured. And then we start creating a braid in the back creating volume up top, and then we're taking a little piece that's left out and bringing it all the way to the other side to braid it through to give that sort of crown feel in the front. So you'll see a lot of just like really pretty distressed hair that's gonna go along really well with the clothing. This season collection gets from Atlantis. The show it's called Mermaids of Atlantis. And this is like jungle civilization. It's like a mystic theme. We are gonna see a performer like with huge hair, a lot of braids, a strong makeup, a lot of tattoos. And mermaids are the best way to show uh, the collection. And this collection is inspired by the earth and by the water and elements from the world and you're gonna see the patterns, you're gonna see the textures, uh, a lot of luxury uh, details. So we're trying to bring like a very smooth, but at the same time, a strong collection. We will have conservative pieces, two pieces, and there is one particular style that you can wear like five, six different ways. It's up to your creativity, how you want to place on your body. So you can mix and match the straps, you can tie it on the neck, you can get a straps, like however your imagination let you go. So you're gonna get like your own identity every time that you're wearing the, the bikini. The woman that is very confident, that wants to have something different, that is looking to get outside to the world and show their personality. Everyone that uh, wants to have fun and feel like Latin passion. Every time that I'm designing my bikinis is because I have like that fire inside me. And that's how people, like women, they, they want to wear a bikini. They want to like have fun and enjoy the ride. I'm so excited because this is like a new beginning for me. Each collection is like the, the best way for you to reinvent it. 
that you want to show to the guests and to the people and to your clients that you want to do something different. And this is the best opportunity for me. All the suits are very constructed, a lot of straps, and of course a lot of handwork because all the pieces are manufactured in Colombia. So we want to keep that identity. So our clients are really stick to uh, our product and, uh, and I want to be able to show something different, but at the same time that they have the signature Montoya Heart. It's been so much work, so many people involved, but at the end it's totally worth it. And we're working really hard to get the line very successful. Uh, there are a lot of and plenty of brands out there, and I mean, we're competitive. We want to have something different. And this is the reason that it's combined, because we're presenting here a show, we're having the beautiful mermaids, and, and, and the passion is here. So I'm, I'm very honored to be here tonight, let me tell you. I'm so honored. so much love, heart and passion in each single stage that it show in each single bikini. As we call like the bikini is the second skin every time that we're gonna go to the beach, to the pool and have fun because the bikinis are wearing like in the most fun times of your life. It's like when you go to vacation, when you go to the beach with your family, with your kids or with your friends. It's like you, you wanna wear something that is different, that stands up, but it, at the same time it's really cozy and, and, and it's fun to wear. So the name of our collection is the Aloha Collection and for us it's all about the Aloha spirit and the vibes of Hawaii and Hawaii is somewhere that we call our second home. So designing this collection for me was really natural and whether it be from the prints and fabrics and textures, everything was really just came perfectly to mind. We really wanted to honor that 1970s surf era in Hawaii, it was really the explosion of surf Women were out surfing, boys were out surfing, everyone, and it's just really that retro throwback. You notice in a lot of the details, and then we have a Hawaiiana print, so we're really excited to share the Aloha collection. It's always our vibe is relaxed and effortless cool, and like Kalani said, the most important thing about this, this collection was that it was the 1970s. It was inspired by retro surf, so I think what's key in that is that girls are confident, sexy, cool, and all of our cover-ups especially are most important translated from beach to street. So we really pride ourselves in having a little bit of everything. I know the itty-bitty teeny bottoms are in and we love that, but it's also about that sporty boy cut, like kind of different, different styles to add to your bikini wardrobe, whereas before it was kind of just a standard one, one type, one style of bikini, and for us it's about having all different styles and cuts to make it more of a fashion piece rather than essential. Well, we've actually developed the perfect dynamic, and not only are we sisters, we're like also best friends, and the amount of time that we spend together is actually... We have to be friends. Yeah, <laughs> we have to be friends. And so business-wise, I handle, or in, 
and Miko, I handle more of the business, and then Alima, she's the genius behind all the designs. So from everything, from every intricate detail, and as she said, she's really detail-oriented. So to see this all come to life is just, it's exciting for both of us, but especially to see her designs up there, it makes me really proud. our baby so start to finish we like to be a part of the process some people say that I might be a little bit of a control freak but at the end of the day this is the coolest part for us and to be able to send out the girls wearing what we make is the coolest part for us and even down to every element of our company is so based around family we have our mom and dad our sister and brother all help us so it's, it's so just, cool. It's the Aloha vibe. That's what it is. And it's it what the collection is. To what, how natural it was to create this collection. It really is a piece of who we are. So to see it all come together, I actually just got goosebumps, but to see it all come together is really, really special for us. So we're super excited. I think our brand message is definitely to be strong and confident. I think confidence comes from, you know, just knowing who you are. And I think that's who the Miko girl is. And even if it, there is someone that doesn't necessarily have that confidence, we want our pieces and our lifestyle to kind of inspire different girls wherever you are. We just want people to feel like they can be a part of our brand near and far and kind of be able to be inspired by the message of, you know, being confident. And I think that that's our number one thing. I feel good. I mean, I thought I was going to be a lot more nervous and it was going to be a lot more hectic, but it's, it's calm in here. It's under control and I think it's all coming together. So this is a big moment and I'm so honored that she asked us to be a part of her first runway show. Obviously it's Tori, so it's going to be cool and she brings with it such an interesting perspective being a model herself. We did a really beautiful bronzy eye and then the skin I'm so excited about. It's really natural but you're going to get this hint of almost like a burnt raisin kind of a color. So it's bronze but it has a little bit of, of shock of pink on there and then the lip is totally natural so it has like a little bit of balm on there and that's it. You know what's great about this collection is it has a spirit to it. And so we wanted to bring that spirit into the makeup. So you're going to see the girl before you see the makeup. And I think that's definitely the intention. We didn't want any of the girls to walk down the runway and for you to go, oh, wow, she's got a lot of makeup on. We didn't want that. We wanted her to have an aura and a feeling and a finish to her. And so that's what the makeup serves in this. We're doing a bit of like boho chic, lived in ways. The story behind the girls is they had a big night out last night and um, what's happening is they're going out to the beach and they're jumping in the water but they're not really getting their hair wet because they don't want, the hair, they don't want to have to redo their hair. Their hair's still good from last night so what, what's happening is the salt and the sand, that's all at work with them and so the ends are a bit stringier, there's a little bit more frizz going on and it just seems like women always love their hair more when it's a little bit more undone and not quite so perfect. And we're using a lot of hair resort spray and hair resort cream. What that is, is a, it's a texturizer um, and it's going to give you that salty, sandy feel. A few girls are going to have a little bit of leather going through the hair. We're using some wire ties, some gold wire ties for small details, subtle. We're going to be doing lots of braids. The thing is, is we want to keep the girls as close to where they came from as possible. I think sometimes when you're most natural, your most natural self, you're your most beautiful self. And so we're taking that natural self and we're just we're messing it up a little bit. And we're just gonna tweak it a little bit because I think it's a good juxtaposition, the, the pretty and then the, a little bit messy. So this collection was called Sonoran Sun after like Latin deserts, Mexico, South America. It was really inspired just by the desert and cactus, succulents, snake prints, the beach, the ocean, that whole kind of yumminess all, all mixed together.
different is a uh, cactus flower. It's actually the flower that you see that's on the saguaro cactuses. So they only bloom a few times a year, but they're special. And I just love the flower. We did another print with succulents. Snake print. I mean, I, I love the prints this year. They're my favorite so far that I've ever done. Lots of op options. Um, the solids are really deep, rich earth tones. We have a cactus green, um, a really deep sangria purple, um, and then we also we also have a sand, like a nude sand color, um, ocean blue. So it's all it's all super different and mixed in, but it goes so well together. You'll see, you know, a really big variety of bikinis, um, full pieces, high-waisted suits, lots of different styles with ruching and different techniques put together. We did a special technique this year with a color blocking ruche technique where you have ruching and solid fabric mixed together to make like a little color block story, which was really fun. We expanded the ready to wear. We're doing kimono, a different bottoms, a pair of harem pants, a maxi skirt, um, a little crop top, jumpers, what, what I'm wearing. I'm so blessed to have the life that I do. I get to travel and see so many different amazing cultures and lifestyles and that's really my inspiration and that's what it comes from. I think that it's a great way to be inspired and get designs and all of that. I mean, I've traveled all over the world and at the time I don't think I realized you know what I was going to do with all of this inspiration and information that I had gathered and it's really you know really set up a great platform for me as a designer. I'm versatile that I, I offer suits for every woman, every different body, every shape, every, you know, we all come in so many different shapes and sizes. I really like to know that women, you know, all can find a suit that, that works for them. And then we actually started our first line of children's clothing this, this year with our Keiki line. So we have the children's swimwear that matches mom and then we do the baby clothes now as well. My daughter will be here, and I'm planning on grabbing her, so you'll see her in her little outfit. It matches mine, it's pretty cute. It is my first collection ever, so I'm so excited to be premiering here. I'm originally from Kingston, Jamaica, but I was raised in Miami, so Miami is home to me. My background is a styling background. I'm a stylist here in Miami and a fashion designer, and I went to school at the Art Institute. I got my bachelor's in fashion merchandising and design, so it's just everything just kind of flows together. Yeah. 
when I decided to come up with the line, I thought about, well, why don't I just represent what Miami is about? And that's a lot of sexiness, that's the flashiness, all about just being hot. You know, it's really hot here. So I just want to bring out a line that really showcases what Miami is about. Lots of bold colors, lots of sexy cuts, lots of prints. I really want something for everybody. I offer a bit of every type of coverage you can think of. I have French cut, I have high waisted, I have bandeau tops, I have low to moderate, moderate to high coverage. It just depends on what your style is. I want my brand to be known for just stepping out the box and really fashion you can swim in. Our collection is named Love Adventure. Our inspiration is in all the artisans and everything we have in Colombia. A lot of hand embroideries, colors, prints over the piece. So we have, it's like a trip all around the world where you can find animals or safaris or you, you just can find a city or something with so many colors and brilliant textures. We have a lot of variety. We have the cover-ups, but mainly we try to, to like to show the beautiful women with a beautiful body and everything perfectly with perfect shapes and perfect silhouettes that can make you feel comfortable and happy with what you are wearing. about a woman, she wants to be seen, so she's always wearing pieces, very special pieces. So we're always thinking about that girl, that woman, and she's a woman who likes to take care of herself. I want them to feel good energy. It's very excited and we are like a part of some of other designers from Colombia, but I feel Agua Bendita is like growing very fast and we are very strong in the United States market and we are Colombian so we have to support everything that's made for Colombia and I love Miami, I love to come here to Miami with all my family.